New overnight in the war between Israel and Hamas, airstrikes hit Gaza again not long after Israel paused its campaign long enough to allow a convoy to carry humanitarian aid into the regions. United Nations has about 20 trucks passed through Egypt's Rafah crossing carrying heavy equipment, food, water and other supplies. An earlier round of help crossed the border over the weekend. The Israeli Defense Forces say that they hit 320 what they termed as terror targets in Gaza overnight. Analysts say the air attack is a precursor to a ground invasion that Israel's been telegraphing for more than a week with tanks and troops gathering along border areas waiting for a command to cross. Israel says it is increasing airstrikes in Gaza to help cut the risk for soldiers on the ground. Palestinian health leaders say the situation inside Gaza is dire. There are 2.3 million people who are lacking basic life support, including food, water, medicine, and medical supplies for the hospitals, and above all, the fuel which runs the water and runs the hospital machines to keep people alive and to treat the wounded. It is a catastrophe. It is not a catastrophe that we will see in a few days. No. Today, it is a catastrophe. More than 200 trucks carrying 3,000 tons of humanitarian aid have been waiting near the border for days. Israeli authorities say they let the new convoy cross at the request of the United States.